And at number seven tonight, a male thief accused of stealing hundreds of thousands of dollars is on the run tonight. Seven Action News reporter Brian Abel live at one of his last locations in Bloomfield Township. That's near Wabeek and Lone Pine Road. And he's checking in on what he's been taking, Brian. Yeah, we're talking about blank checks, money orders, credit cards and stealing a $200,000 check. And allegedly, it was as simple as us reaching in and grabbing mail from the mailbox. According to these federal documents, investigators believe Jawan Barnes began stealing mail as far back as October of last year. That was his first mistake. His second, taking one of his first big Bloomfield Township scores, two cashier's checks for $500 for a Verizon bill, and scribbling in his name instead, then cashing it at a Western Union using a Michigan ID card with his name on it to do it. Just days before that, an $8,000 check from a missing book of checks mailed by Chase Bank. It was deposited in a mobile app. Bank of America tracked the IP address to a hotel where Juwan Barnes was registered. In 2018, a Delta plane ticket purchased in the name of Juwan Barnes using a new credit card stolen from a Bloomfield Hills mailbox. The same day it's reported, two more mail theft reports in Bloomfield Township one of them a missing $200,000 check. The victims telling investigators a gray Dodge Journey vehicle with New York plates was seen in the area. The same rental car reported stolen after a relative loaned it to Barnes and didn't get it back. Which brings us to this week. Detectives allege they tailed Barnes in that car as late as Monday, seeing him steal from mailboxes before they lost track of him here at the Wood Springs Suite in Rochester Hills. Inside a room, a large amount of believed to be stolen mail credit cards, checks, and W-2s, but no Barnes. And Barnes is still on the run. He is suspected of federal mail theft as well as identity theft. And this is really a cautionary tale for anybody that's sending or expecting to receive in the mail credit cards or checks or anything like that to check often and right away if you notice something to report it. And of course, if you have any information on Barnes whereabouts to call police. Reporting live, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. Brian,